Hello there and welcome back for another video. I am Brown Eyes of Brown Eyes Intuitions. I hope everyone is having an absolutely amazing, wonderful day. I hope you are keeping your intentions set in a positive way so that it may manifest in a positive way immediately in your life. Um, today we're doing love forecast. Um, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Uh, you know if it resonates with you. You know if this is your story or not. Uh, just take what fits, if any, and just discard the rest. Uh, don't even trip about it because this is just not the video for you at this time. But I'm sure it will be in the future. So, um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so kindly for uh, stopping by. And if my energy resonates with you, I ask that you please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Uh, so, let's just pretty much just get into it. We're talking about your love, your romance, your forecast. What is going to come around? What is the energy surrounding you in romance and in love here? What is trying to shower you, honey, with romance and love? So we're about to do Capricorn Love Forecast. I've already uploaded Aquarius uh, Love Forecast. So now we're on Capricorn. Capricorn, I'm going to be pulling a couple of cards from my um, tarot. Psych is that Psychic Tarot card deck to get the energy that you're in or the energy that's coming towards you uh, pertaining to romance and love, okay? So your first card is number six. It says, believe and succeed. Believe and succeed, Capricorn. That's what it says, believe and succeed. Can I get another card for Capricorn's romance and love forecast, please? What is coming towards Capricorn in romance and in love? Capricorn. We have the number eight card. I saw this when I was pre-shuffling. Moving on. So, Capricorn, let's see what this energy is all about. You have moving on, and you have believe and succeed. So, believe and succeed, believe and succeed. We know moving on because this eight is like representing in the regular right away deck as uh, the eight of cups because you see the water that represents emotions, and this person is moving away from emotions like the eight of cups. So something, either you or someone moved away from their emotions in some type of relationship. Uh, but believe and succeed gives me the impression that someone that walked away perhaps wants this to be reignited and so to speak, believe and succeed. I know you're not believing that you'll be successful in moving on, whether it's you or the energy in romance or love coming towards you. So I feel like that whoever walked away from their emotions pertaining to romance and love, pertaining to you, Capricorn, is believing to be successful, perhaps, to uh, bring this union back together here. So let's clarify, believe, and succeed. I also picked up the energy that it, either it's you, Capricorn, or someone that you're involved with is really, really, really in love, okay? I really picked up a real strong sense of someone really being in love. So let's clarify this believe and succeed for Capricorn's romance and love, please. Believe and succeed for Capricorn in romance and in love. Believe and succeed. So we have the four of cups here. Can we get one more card for Capricorn's romance and love? Clarify believe and succeed. Believe and succeed for Capricorn. Believe and succeed. And we have the Page of Cups here. So I don't know if someone rejected your offer. I feel like someone's rejects, someone's offer got rejected here. And I feel like someone wants to reach out. So either this is you, Capricorn, wanting to reach out to someone who perhaps moved on. Um, but I feel like that person is afraid of being rejected, but I feel like they want to reach out nevertheless, because you do have the page of cups here. The page of cups is a messenger. 
The Page of Cups brings good news. So I feel like either this is your energy Capricorn or your romance or your love interest here that wants to reach out, but they fear of being rejected. But I feel like they're going to move on. I feel like they're going to believe enough to succeed because they want to be successful. They're going to reach out because that's why you have this Page of Cups here. So let me clarify these cards for you, Capricorn. Let's clarify this Four of Cups here. This person... This person, I feel like if this is you or your other person, someone, uh, it's like this person is just stubborn. This person is stubborn in their energy because it's like they want to, but they're just so afraid. That's why they're needing to believe that this can actually be successful. So clarify four of cups for Capricorn's romance and love forecast. Please kept clarify four of cups. So we have the Empress. Okay, Capricorn. So this could be a parent of your child. This could be a spouse of yours. Uh, this is like the Divine Feminine's energy here, the Empress. We know the Empress is a bad chick right here. She's uh, symbolic of the Mother Earth. She's a lot like the Mother Earth because she produces, she brings forth life. Uh, she builds, she nurtures. Um, she's very intuitive. She's very emotionally giving. This, this is just like the, the, the mother of the deck. So this must be a better half of you. It's almost as if this person is... So if, if this is your empress here, then you must be the emperor. So you guys may be in a divine connection here. So, But I feel like this is why you fear being rejected because you hold this person in such high regards here. Now, it's, it's either you, Capricorn, or you're going to have to know which, which position you're in or it's the energy of romance and love around you. Uh, so either this is you or them feeling rejected because they hold you or you hold them in such high regards here. I don't think you want to be rejected because you hold them in such high regards here. So clarify four of cups for Capricorn's romance and love forecast, please. Clarify four of cups, please. So we have justice. So you could be dealing with a Libra. So it's almost as if someone moved on. Did you guys, were you guys in a marriage or a commitment and you guys went to the justice system here and ended something here? Because someone is bringing, someone is going to reach out and bring some good news. Someone is going to say something here. Okay. Clarify justice for capricorn i have to find out why is this here. why is justice here for capricorn's romance and love forecast see you got death you could be dealing with the scorpio so something ended here so you guys got a divorce or you guys cut ties through the justice system in order for something new to begin but this ended here the justice system ended this relationship Wow. So it's like you were you were with your divine person and you guys split up because we do have moving on. Here's your next card. But see, you still have Page of Cups here. So let's find out what the Page of Cups is all about here. The Page of Cups. So we know Page of Cups is a messenger. It's small, so that's why they associate it with being like a message. But it's also a message of good news. So... Someone t want to know that <sighs> so this page of cups is bringing some type of good news or this page of cups could just be simply reaching out apologizing for something maybe that's the good news they're apologizing after this breakup because I think that someone wants to come back and amend this even though you done went through the court systems and you didn't get you didn't dead and it's over. You, you guys are split up because this is what the cards are saying. I feel like someone still, even though this is really went through all of that, spent money, you did whatever you had to do to split this union here. Someone still wants to come in and apologize here. So let's clarify Page of Cups for Capricorn's romance and love forecast. Clarify Page of Cups for Capricorn, please. Why is the Page of Cups here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So you have the Queen of Wands here. Ooh. So what are you, what is the good news about? Is the good news is that you still find them attractive and you want to 
ignite some type of passion towards them. Clarify page of cups for Capricorns, new romance, uh, romance and love. Did I say new? Maybe you got something new popping off. Because this is about to get interesting. Cause is this almost as if you got another person here. You got the Empress and you got the Queen of Wands here. I know that this 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 ended with this Empress, but are you trying to talk about this Queen of Wands here? So clarify the Page of Cups for Capricorn's Romance and Love forecast, please. Clarify Page of Cups. Uh-oh. So now you have the Six of Pentacles here. So it's almost... It's like you, you was not, okay, with this queen of wands, you was given to someone else with this queen of wands here. It's almost, so it's, it's, it's like you got two people here, Capricorn. It's like you were married or you were in a high level commitment here and something ended here. But now you want to reach out and offer someone uh, some good news, perhaps about someone that you, that you have a lot of passion for, uh, that Either you want to give something to them or that it was in unbalanced with them. So is this what you're trying to come back and tell this empress is that, uh, is this like you're trying to come clean or something? You want to tell them that you, you had a queen of wands and that that's why you guys' relationship was unbalanced was because you was given to someone else too. Ooh, we, all right. It's getting kind of juicy Capricorn. Now let's clarify this queen of wands. What's this queen of wands about? Clarify queen of wands. For Capricorn's romance and love forecast. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Clarify Queen of Wands, please. Uh -oh. <laughs> so Capricorn, now you got the Two of Pentacles. So you were juggling. Were you juggling, Capricorn? You were juggling this Queen of Wands with your Empress. Is that what you were doing? You were juggling? Is this why this ended with your Empress? Because you were juggling this queen of wands with your with your soulmate here with your divine here wow that's what it looks like that's what it this is what it looks like believe and succeed it's almost as if like you're stepping out on faith going back to someone that you betrayed and you you're trying to come clean i mean but it's after the fact it's like you're believing that once you come clean that things will get better between the two of you is that what that's about wow so now we have moving on over here. You got moving on. So someone moved away. Someone walked away from their emotions within your relationship. Uh, maybe this is now, now we're doing your love, your romance and your love forecast here. So either this is something that is showing up. It's in your past energy, something that happened in the past, but it's still in your current energy. Or this is something that's about to take place in your life. Uh, because we're, we're, we're looking for your forecast. What can you expect? Is this what you're all, you've already done? Now, we know energy is fluid. It could, it could be any time. So let's clarify moving on here. Why is moving on here for Capricorn's romance and love forecast? Clarify moving on for Capricorn, please. So you have Ace of Wands. So someone moved on to have a passionate new beginning somewhere else. Damn, it's almost... <laughs> Capricorn now it's almost as if you were eating now I don't know who was who but somebody I think that this was you Capricorn in a relationship or in a high level commitment like with your divine partner here and things ended with you guys you had to go you went to the court it's like you were married you guys separated you guys got a divorce and it's like You want to reach out to this, either you want to reach out to this um, empress and come clean about you juggling and giving elsewhere, which was to this queen of wands. Um, so, because moving on, someone wants to have an ace of wands. Is someone, so if this happened to you, um, Capricorn, then are you the one that want this new beginning, this passionate new beginning, or is someone that did this to you want this brand new passionate beginning? All right, let me let me try to keep up with it because this. <sighs> okay, clarify moving on for Capricorn's romance and love forecast. Clarify moving on, please. So you have the Hermit. Could be dealing with the Virgo. Could be dealing with the Fire sign or Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. 
I see pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo, and you, Capricorn. Uh, I see Scorpio. I see, uh, I see water. I see justice. I see Libra here. So, let's clarify this Ace of Wands, because it's like you want a passion, new beginning. Um, and it's like you're introspecting in order to find the right way to go. Because you're someone's moving on. You're someone has moved on from their emotions here to have a passion, new beginning. But I feel like whoever is trying to have this passion, new beginning that moved on is going in hermit mode because I feel like someone has to correct some things or someone needs to someone needs the right direction to go. If you were involved with multiple people, then I can understand why you're introspecting now because Something ended here because of some type of infidelity. So let's clarify this Ace of Wands for Capricorn. Romance and love forecast. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Capricorn's romance and love forecast, please. So you have the moon. So we could be dealing with the Pisces. Clarify Ace of Wands for Capricorn. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Capricorn? Romance and love forecast. Now you have the Page of Pentacles. So it's almost like you want someone wants to have a passion, new beginning, and offer something in spite of what they're not aware of and what they don't know. I feel like it's. I feel like you're taking a chance because you you're not aware of things. You don't know things. You don't understand some things. That's why you're in this hermit mode because you're trying to introspect. You're trying to figure some things out. You're trying to know what to do, which direction to take here. And so I feel like um, you're trying to have a passion, new beginning. You could be trying to have a passion, new beginning with someone that you don't know much about. And you're trying to offer them some. You're trying to uh, reach out to them. Offer them something. Hmm. So, okay, let's clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit for Capricorn's romance and love forecast. Clarify the hermit. <clears throat> so we have the king of wands. Oh, you got the king of wands and the queen of wands on here. So, it's... It's like I'm getting the impression because since you have the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Ace of Wands here, you got all of this passion here for this mate here. It's like it's like you were involved. If this is you, Capricorn, it's like you were in you hit a marriage here, and you were involved with this Queen of Wands here. Um, you could be trying to offer this Page of Cups to this Queen of Wands. Uh, maybe this Queen of Wands didn't know that you were married because maybe you're trying to offer this page of this pa this Queen of Wands, this page this this message this offer this page of cups about you juggling about you giving somewhere else. Maybe this Queen of Wands didn't know that you were married. Yes, you just got a divorce, but maybe this Queen of Wands didn't know that you were juggling. You got the Six of Pentacles, which was given to somewhere else and uh, it not being a uh, uh, equal give and take. And about this two of pentacles, which means you were juggling here. So I feel like you 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 was involved with someone other than your mate. And uh, you got feelings for this outside person here. You got a lot of passion for this person. Because I feel like to this person, you're the king of wands. And I feel like you're trying to reach out. Uh, you moved on. You moved on from this empress is who you moved on. Or you moved your emotions away from this empress. Because you want this Queen of Wands. So now it looks like you want to have a brand new passion at the beginning with this Queen of Wands. But I feel like the only thing, I feel like you guys are very compatible with you in this King of Wands energy. And this person you were involved with, this Queen of Wands energy. But I feel like you, it's still a lot that you don't know about this relationship here. It could have just been for passion. You know, it could have been all passion and, and, and no love because... Uh, so then this, this four of cups was then uh, rejecting offers here. And then you could have been bored and discontent with this empress. You know, that's why you're seeking, that's why you were seeking this queen of wands here. 
But anyway, if, at any rate, you you ended this marriage here for this Queen of Wands. But I feel like the only thing you had have with this Queen of Wands is passion. Because remember, you have the Ace of Wands. You want to have a passionate new beginning with this Queen of Wands. And I feel like the only reason why it's a new beginning is because maybe this Queen of Wands didn't know that you were already married to someone. So by you guys feel like you guys have a lot of passion and nothing more than the passion, the matched passion. There's a lot of things you don't know other than the passion that this Queen of Wands have. So I feel like you're taking a, a chance, um, you know, offering something more stable and reliable because I feel like what you offer the Queen of Wands in the past was passion. But I feel like since you've disconnected or ended your marriage or your union, now you want to offer a little bit more to this Queen of Wands. But I feel like it's small and I feel like it's a hesitant, a hesitant offer because you really don't know this Queen of Wands. You know the passion, but you don't know everything about this Queen of Wands. But you have a lot of passion, so the passion is what's driving you. But I feel like it's kind of messing with you because you're introspecting. You're trying to find out is this the right thing to do? Do I approach this? Do I approach? Do I approach it? And so this is you in hermit mode, this King of Wands here. So you're trying to make sure that this is what you need to do about this Queen of Wands because this is who you stepped out on based on the card. This is who you stepped out on your marriage for. But you stepped out because of the passion because I feel like you got bored and you wasn't no longer pleased with where you was at. So, you know, your passion led you for this outside relationship here. But I feel like that's all it was. So now that you, you're you free to, to be with this Queen of Wands, just you and this Queen of Wands, King of Wands, and this little p p partner right here, because both of you guys are single energies. Queen of Wands is like the Bachelorette and the King of Wands is like the Bachelor. So I feel like both of you guys are single and you're, you're available to just be in your passion, but that's all it is. So now... After the fact, I feel like you're introspecting. You know, is this something that I really want? Who is this Queen of Wands? Because you're offering them, offering them something, but it, it's hesitant offer because you don't know this Queen of Wands other than the passion, okay? So clarify the Hermit for Capricorns, love and romance forecast. Clarify the Hermit for Capricorn, please. Okay, so see, we have the Three of Swords here. So I feel like the reason why you're introspecting about you you offering anything other than passion to this Queen of Wands, I feel like because you hurt her. I feel like maybe this Queen of Wands didn't know that you was married. Maybe this Queen of Wands didn't know that you were already involved with someone. And so now that you're trying to offer something a little bit more stable and reliable, uh, you you don't really know if, if this person's really gonna gonna take, you know, it is as if like you're trying to move and I'm I'm being funny and kind of reckless, but it's like you can't make a whole a housewife kind of kind of like that, because you had a wife, you had the empress, so you had the empress. The empress took care of home, but the queen of wands took care of your lust and your your sexual desires and and fun and stuff like that. So now that you don't have the 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 sanctity of your your empress at home, your divine counterpart at home, so to speak. I feel like now you're, you're, you're really, you have all this time for this queen of wands and maybe that's all you have is passion. So that's why the moon card is here is because you really don't know this queen of wands like you knew the empress. You, you know, you like the passion. So I feel like you're trying to upgrade the relationship by offering this, but you want passion still. That That's what's driving you. You got the ace of wands. This ace of wands is between the two of you. This, that's the passion, but that's all it is, is passion. So now that you're divorced, now you want to add something more. But I feel like you're introspecting now because you know you was in this bachelor energy, this passion energy, and that's what possibly caused, caused this heartbreak, this three-party heartbreak. And the three-party heartbreak is, is this king of wands, this queen of wands, and this empress. Whew. So let me pull a couple more cards and get your energy. And then pull you a couple of love oracle cards here. So can we get some more energy for Capricorn's romance and love forecast, please? What's up with Capricorn's romance and love forecast, please? So we have strength. I feel like this ain't you needing strength. This is you taming your lust because you have a lot of lust for this queen of wands. 
But this Queen of Wands may be kind of hesitant now because I feel like if you reached out and told this Queen of Wands, you know what, baby, I didn't tell you in the past I already had somebody. Uh, that's why I was. it seemed like I wasn't always available because I was given somewhere else. Yes, I was juggling you, but I didn't divorce them now, but this is what I had going on. But let's please have this passionate new beginning. So I feel like you're trying, someone's trying to curb their lust because remember, there's passion between the two of you. Okay, so now this has jumped out. We have the page of pentacles, the page of pentacles again. This, I feel like this person, or the you Capricorn is really trying to tame your lust because you really want to offer something. I feel like you want a, a higher, I'm not going to say a higher level of commitment. I just feel like you're just trying to invest in this passion now with this page of pentacles because a page is a messenger and a page uh, it d does not give much. A page is very immature. You know, so it's not giving up much. I just feel like it's it's just enough to, because you remember over here, I feel like you're you're giving some kind of news about you were juggling, and I feel like it's it's good news because I feel like you felt like this giving this new good news will present the opportunity for a passion new beginning between the two if you come if you come clean. So I feel like you feel like you owe this person more than just this ace of wands because you remember you got the six of pentacles. You were given somewhere else. So that means you wasn't really investing financially with the queen of pentacles because you was giving it all to the empress. So can we get some more energy for Capricorn's romance and love forecast, please? So we have the page of swords here. I feel like you you've investigated this person you've did a lot you've checked up on this person here and i feel like maybe that's why you're in this moon in, in um uh, because i think this is what makes you hesitant well i feel like you're you you did that now that's why you're probably offering this page of pentacles it's because maybe you did a little research on this queen of wands because i feel like it, it really wasn't a lot of anything other than passion here so you could be coming off immature. You could be, you know, stalking this queen of wands here because you remember you got the strength card. You're trying to hurry up and get it in. Now that you're you're single, you know, one more card for Capricorn's romance and love forecast, please. I feel like you're stalking this queen of wands because you want to hurry up and give her this ace of wands here. <laughs> you're trying to hurry up and get this queen of wands, this ace of wands here. Okay, my card dropped, y'all. Where is it? it is <laughs> sorry y'all oh okay see this this is a six of pentacles again see <clears throat> six of pentacles again you got the six of pentacles twice here <sighs> six of pentacles so this person i feel like if this is you this page of swords capricorn you probably found out that your queen of wands is given somewhere else too that's why it's probably that's why it's probably hard for you to give this page of pentacles because you may have found out that this queen of wands is given somewhere else too. You know what I'm saying? So All right. So let me get you pull you some energy, a couple of cards from this love oracle deck. Can we get some advice or some more energy for Capricorn's romance and love forecast, please? Capricorn's love and romance forecast, please. So we have ascending. It says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. I feel like you're trying to prepare for this union with this queen of wands here. You're trying to get with this queen of wands because you're single and you have a lot of passion and lust for this person here. And I feel like this queen of wands may have someone else. Because after all, you were in married. So, I mean, now we have the chaser. Chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. I feel like this is you chasing uh, the Queen of Wands. You see, you got the Page of Swords here. I feel like you're all, you're stalking the Queen of Wands. I'm just saying, Capricorn, this is the energy I'm getting off of the, the cards that I pull. I feel like you're chasing this person. I feel like you're codependent on the, the, uh, the lust. You're codependent on the passion from this Queen of Wands here. And I feel like you're stalking this person. You're checking up on this person. You're trying to control your lust for this person. But I feel like you really don't know this person that well. Because I feel like this person, this Queen of Wands, got somebody that they're giving to. 
I feel like you've investigated and they're giving somewhere else to. That's why I feel like you're trying to offer this page of pentacles because you're already offering a page of wands. What else do you have to give? But I feel like you're trying to give, you go, look, you notice with, when it comes to the sex and the, and the passion, you give the ace of, of, of that. But when it comes to something tangible and reliable, you're giving pages. So I feel like it's all about your lust. You don't really care for this person, but this person got your nose wide open. So one more card for Capricorn's romance and love forecast. No judgment. I'm just saying, hey, do you, you know. So we have up, oh, we have keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. See, this queen of wands probably was a one night stand that got you stuck. And it says many options. I feel like this this Queen of Wands got other people that they're giving to, too. This is what you've found out, but your lust and your passion is so strong for this Queen of Wands, you probably don't even give a damn, okay? <laughs> so Capricorn, this has been your romance and your love forecast. So if this video resonates with you guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.